your blink DK. And I do really wonder if no one's actually going to go for it first item just because of how important it's going to be for them to set up for the arrows in particular to, to be that active like tempo controller. But this is the anti Beastmaster lane, right? You have arrow and hook to deal with the boar. So 33 is going to have to be playing mostly with the axes. Nice but oh, there you go. The skill shot. Should be our first blood. Well, well, it will oh. be our first blood. I wasn't expecting Liquid to get it, though. They're just pressuring him so much. He can he can even see us. Am I saying a... Look at that. Is he dead? Yeah, well, okay. Maybe. They do have a dead shot, but yeah, probably not enough. Dyer's courier has been killed. I'll say I'm a little bit surprised at the CS shot with Nisha being behind the DK. Yeah, I mean, the, when when you don't have the when you have boots on DK, you don't really get a lot of the static link duration, and just having that brief fire is awful. As they do finally get Watson, can they at least get Mister Boxy? They do. Oh, maybe double kill. Guess wrong. They've is got that the a idols man that potentially nah. scout? It's like Fishman will TP out. Oh, mid lane though, Nisha. Watson, what's a brother doing mid lane? Carry, uh, <laughs> trying to help an officer. He got it. What a hook. Oh, Watson! That'll help result the kill on Tanisha. Beautifully done. Top lane, DM. Might be in some trouble here with the Malefus. Got that blood grenade as well to add on top. Another beam up in a couple of seconds. DM's been playing very aggressive without the support in his lane and he's going to be punished for that. We'll have a bit of a fight for the Wisdom Rune as well. Does go the way of Boxy. Great micro as well from Insania, even though he was using some of the Eidolons for the kill top. Liquid very good with taking the stacks and uh, just not enough vision or awareness here from Entity to shutting you down. That's Omi. Very nice hook. A good hook. They do also run into Insania trying to path on over to get involved inside the team fight. So a bit of a freebie there for Entity. All right. Uh, Helm ready for 33. Looks like he's going for the standard Beastmaster build here. Just a uh, Helm of the Overlord should probably be next. And, oh, they find Nisha. Where's the arrow, though? No angle. Now they're actually going to think about turning back around. Nisha's uh, taking a lot of damage, though. A hook again. Watson on point so far. And this is a Pudge with a Haste Rune. He's going to charge in the middle. Even DM wants to get involved in the team fight with the first split of the game. They're not done, though. Hook's still on cooldown, which is going to be a bit of an issue, but they've got other stuns coming through. As Boxy's killed off under the T2 tower, DM with his micro is going to be able to catch up to Insania. He's maybe threatening of a, of a hope of a black hole, but there would be no one else to follow up. And Liquid crumble in the mid lane. They are some gigantic kills that entity. Are very much requiring for them to have this fast tempo lineup to work. Look at Nisha, he's wanting to try and farm the, the ancients that he just stacked, but DM's here. Uh, and... He has to TP right now. Oh, and he might. Okay, never mind. Oh. No one, the first person to TP in. So he's going to be able to stop Nisha's escape. Oof. This is what 0 and 5 on Nisha. Not at all the type of performance we expected. And even the lane, right? I think DK is supposed to be okay in this lane, but he was winning the CS by a big margin. I, I'm very impressed with how well no one has played. Because, oh, oh, hello, me? hello. I was going to say, they're actually starting to tip it down. Even Mickey was thinking about showing up to the fight. They may have got a glimpse of 33. Even though Liquid is behind, they can still hold this game. It's it's a slow oh. game unless Entity gets slow. Oh, they find 33. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. No way. 33 got slowed by the purge creep. So he <laughs> couldn't try and run away fast <laughs> enough to get a TP location before Katomi closed his distance. A... And the vision so far from Entity again. Some great lane oh. wards from them being Damn. able to assist in these kills across the map. I actually want to fight Liquid. They've got Nisha in a pretty decent position to wrap around. Targeting no one but Watson again. However he's using the hook this game, it seems perfect. Aggressively, defensively. Oh, Sonya. We'll be able to get out, but they have vision of 33. There's a ward in the middle of the lane, but no catch. Oh. So that'll probably be Roche, right? You got to kill kind of at least close enough to the front of the pit. You, you've got a BKB getting worked on for, for Mickey as well. He's two components away. 
So we'll see. It's really going to be up to 33, though, and, and potentially Insania to, to cut some of the waves here with some of their summons. Oh, DM, he gets the TP here. Nisha. Maybe 33 as well. We're going to get chased down. Yeah, he... I guess... Yes, yeah, he's not going to TP away. He's dead. Look at the creep, too. Okay, apparently the, <laughs> the neutral just nuked down the creep, so missing a little bit of gold. Nisha mid lane. And the Enigma Auras as well, and, and everyone else assisting him. Technically, yes. Uh, I I do feel like Luna Beastmaster is one of the strongest combination. You still have uh, this Enigma that could get a Blink Dagger out of nowhere and surprise Entity. You need to get the level 20 though. I think level 20. Oh, oh my god, they found him. Down to the base, Mickey. Oh no. At least was able to activate the BKB before the dismember. He's going to try and pop the Eclipse and stand strong. It's a decent amount of damage out on Wopsim. A hope and a prayer of a black hole. Stolen, Stolen. one. Kataomi turns it straight back around. Mickey, zero deaths so far, but it looks like the first one will come out front of his base. And an instant stun from no one. Catches 33 on the jump in. And now they're going to swarm deeper inside the base as well. Insania caught at the throne. A five-man wipe, and all they lose is the ages from Entity. This is going to be a lot of damage to the base. Uh, this is this is absurd. <laughs> this At is least really Arcanex. absurd. Okay. Uh, Watson, nice double four stuff. The waste the BKB and the static link. Now no one's going to get the jump in, but this is the buyback as well from Moetta. They'll kill off Boxy. And now look to turn for 33 as well. At least Mickey's going to be able to stand his grounding, pump out a little bit of damage, but they are just far too behind. They don't have the resources. They don't have the items to strike back. Eclipse is only tickling Entity, and they recognize how far they truly are ahead. There's no concerns for them. Gs are going to be dropped. And Entity, what a convincing Game 1 performance from them. Really convincing from the laning stage should the map movements a lot for that sometimes with uh, your lane struggling so, uh, Overall also a cast one game where the monkey king was like level 2 minute 11 uh, Because right carriers don't give experience they only give gold when you kill them So you do struggle quite a bit as he I'm on top lane though Watson It's getting chased under the tower having to try and dance back into the the tree lane is not a position you want to be in from Entity. The resource is incredibly low. Watson got his Cory sniped as well, which... Uh, I look for it. Fishman, no arrow, unfortunately. Starstorm just has enough mana for it. Now, Boxy with a very fire. <laughs> no, you're not! Oh, oh what a read from the Boxy. Yeah, really good. And you know, that's not a combination we never think of, right? The Meeple carry Earthbind with arrow. But as you get more levels, this actually becomes kind of annoying to deal with. Yeah, they do deny uh, one of the water rooms, but you know, Nisha with the double bracer, two pool tangos. He's definitely getting a bit more love this time than he, he had in game number one. Mm. 33. Where's that second Meepo? Doesn't matter, it looks like. Nice time he actually telekinesis from Boxy. Lacking some of the men up, but Fishman, he's able to come into play. Swinging down from behind. Now the body box from Watson a pretty decent. Boxy will be able to slip on past, but it's not going to matter. The damage has been dealt. Entity find a double kill, and the support's importantly getting involved as well, so it's going to be some much-needed experience for the two. Rana. But even Meepo's bringing one of his clothes as well. So it looks like Fishman's going to go down before they will connect. Kataomi, oh, almost a great it. timing with the stun. But now as, oh, as, they, no. as they see Watson, 33 is going to try and TP him. But what can the Doom do by himself? Maybe return kill on Takatomi. Looking for the deny. deny. He's going to get it as well. And now, uh, yeah, Watson perfectly okay. I cannot understate how important this uh, moves from Watson are. Like, he is the lowest CS right now. But he is the second in net worth. Just out of those plays, out of not dying and participating yeah. in all the kills. Nicely done, That's Insania holding one. the Frostbite to the last second, and now Kataomi jumped in as well, and potentially giving another free kill over to Liquid. Frostbite back up. I, mean, I was just... I, I was waiting to see the Stampede out of, out of DM, but of course he recognized as soon as Stampede would be used, Insania would hold him down with the Frostbite, so there was no escape potential. They have an arrow. Lane, though. Our, <laughs> connects before the X-Drag back, so the stuns aren't actually going to last that long, and as a result, Boxy... Actually, we'll get away thanks to the haste rune. So, 
Seven kills and all the Corey snipes as well. It's only a thousand net worth lead at the moment. They might be able to get another kill though, Nisha. Without the double damage rune. Let's see if they're going to have everything Arrow. required to bring him down. It looks like this time with Watson here. There will not be a concern of the damage one. output. Now Crystal Maiden, they're going to be able to catch up to her. Are they done just yet as well? Fishman wanting to leap to Boxy with the Boundless Strike still ready to work with. They've got the Stampede as well. And they'll easily be able to get Boxy. Triple it's going to be kill. cautious about how deep they go though because Kataomi under a T2 tower taking a bit of a beating. 33 is he going to take him out? Will he stay there? Oh, oh no. What? The balls are still cut uh, over me. Oh, my God. He's going to live. <laughs> so close. I think with this build, we, we do get it much later. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they will find the Moran as well. Nicely done by 33. Blink Dagger debut. Just a free kill. So he's happy with that by the looks of it. Back to farming they go. Is is Doom not one of those answers to, to the Mega Meepo? If you, if you get the you know, Doom on the correct yeah. people or the main one yeah that's that is the thing you have to find the, the real one usually he always will posture the clones more aggressively uh but i guess the t traps are one thing that might allow them to, to oh, find oh the real that's one. aggressive no oh. doom but he's kind of baiting because liquid they're nearby they're gonna still be too late to protect him but they will avenge his death, however, and get some much-needed gold and experience given over to again to Mickey, and that is the grand prize being Meepo's life. Committed the Stampede. Well, that's that's a big win for Liquid, as they're also going to find the Kataomi Monkey King top. So two kills across the map. We see instantly what's going on, though. You know, mid lane, they will at least get an objective, so that that's not the worst. Doom the real Meepo, you can dig, you can Mega Meepo, it's, you have Bolt as well. That is one thing we didn't talk about. So the damage from the Doom is going to be severely mitigated as well. Doom back up, he's going to just catch out the Centaur if they got any stuns. Boxy Ooh. just gets in range at the buzzer, but the Telekinesis has stopped that teleport away. It would have been a, a devastating escape to be able to waste another Doom, but it's just a question of getting all the TA vision. Uh, also taking the tier one top tower because that is no one. Hurdle. Conquer is a pretty difficult kill. No one's going to be able to commit the boat as well, just in case it's required with a rump off. They actually want to take the fight. DM jumps in, and here comes Watson with the Mega Meepo as well with the Torrent Storm. Going to get layered down. There's no chance Liquid could take the fight, especially when the Templar Assassin gets caught out. They'll try and assist Boxy with a retreat, retreat, and they will oh, also no. get 33 die away. Back. So nicely done from Boxy. It will be a dieback, I suppose. You get 33 out, but it's still... Regardless, a lot of casualties from Liquid inside that fight. Yeah, just utilizing Doom on cooldown. Very, very big move from Entity. Uh, they get their timings on the Mega Meepo. They get the Torrent Storm. You you just do so much damage when there's control. The thing Nisha, is... This is a big one. This is a big yeah. one. He's getting greedy, trying to cut that mid-wave. And as soon as they saw the illusions pop out of the triangle, no one in DM... It's a bit of a signal for them on where this Dragonite was currently positioned, so... Nice kill for them to find. Meanwhile, you got Watson. Watson gets there. Okay, good try. So much information that Katoomi is providing them. He is going to see that there's no real heroes playing behind Mickey, but it's actually inside the mid lane where the jump occurs. DM's in some trouble, but that's where the Stampede's able to come into play to reset the team fight. Watson, though. Looking to hunt the back line. He'll be rewarded with the boat oh, the flying vault. out. Connects on the niche. Now the Torrent Storm means they've got grave issues and there's going to be no way to address them. Liquid surrounded under their T2 tower and a Doom will do nothing to turn it. You'll get the kill onto the Centaur, but even then, 33, he'll continue to be chased down. Watson knows no fear. 33 somehow does get the blink away. And still gets the kill into the centaur nonetheless, but another fight that goes Entity's way. Yeah, I mean, that fight is incredibly hard to take. I'm surprised they even postured for this tier 2. I think uh, when you don't have BKB on TA, it's impossible to really uh, fight this Meepo at all. Like, they don't have a lot of AoE stuns, right? It's only, I guess, this Hoof Stomp, <laughs> the War Stomp from Doom, it's the only thing. So, once you find the opening, it's really hard for Liquid as they do find Katomi, but he has backup. They're beelining to the area, and as soon as they see Watson, 
Uh, they're just going to have to try and get out and cut their losses, but unfortunately, it's a great tide oh. away from no one. Look at the unrelentless pressure they're keeping up. A right, smoke from them, three into the triangle, and they're going to be rewarded. What a read. Oh, Mickey. Oh, oh a no. nice timing with the trap. It's not going to matter, though. Any TPs. He gets blink a out. blink away. Okay. They're still Ooh. coming, though. They're not stopping anytime sooner. They got detection. Yeah, they do. Mickey dies under the tower. And now they're going to bleed more kills as well. Another great tidal wave. Knee shot. No stuns to hold him inside the Wukongs momentarily. It looks like Box is able to slip out as well. They should be able to chase him down. Katsuomi once again with a boundless strike. Soon, who have the boys to be able to play with? Boxy will really make him work for it. But it's going to be a double kill in the end for Entity. They see Nisha too I... down bottom. They're already starting to go down for the DK. Radiance Courier has been this, yeah, they definitely know he's there. He has no TP. He ha he can use the, but they already pinged top. He wants to use the Twin Gates, but I think the Meepo is going that way. And even TP from the Kanka. Oh no. Ooh. Dyer are scanning. Scan. Double scan. They in. really want Nisha. Goddamn. Watson still got Disperser to use and Blink as well. They could actually starting to come. Oh, he found it. And Watson might not have enough damage to be able to blow him up before the re reinforcements show. It's all up to 33 with the Doom. He needs to get on the right member. The Torn will stall it out. And he got the Mega Meepo before. And now 33 forced the Doom. The Conquer, but the Conquer, he's already used his spells. That Doom is not good enough for Liquid to come back into this game. And now DM jump over the top. A beautiful hoofstomp on the two. Just gives them all the time they need to reevaluate. But no one's really playing with DM at the moment. He is isolated. The Centaur begging for assistance. It'll come a little too late. He'll go down. But Entity, they should be happy with the trade. That will happen afterwards. They might not even stop to share. Watson, an aggressive jump inside the base. Boxy. Nice still to be able to get some separation, but Mickey. I was going to say, does he have the same fate? He also is okay, but... And just getting the vision as well. I thought that the traps of Mickey were going to be a way for Liquid to find the Meepo. But it feels like the scouting of this Monkey King has also allowed Watson to not only get kills, but protect himself as Boxy. Finally dies. And he will. Now maybe more? Maybe more kills, DM. Uh, it's just the Watson show. I mean, that being said, he's falling very, very low under the base. Oh, Mega Meepo. It's just not going to matter. Torrent Storm is out. Welcome to the water park. As they will continue to chase him down. Entity, this is their home now. You might lose the Monkey King, but Watson, there is nothing he needs to fear with his spells put on cooldown. They might be able to catch up to no one. Going to be able to drag Nisha out of the base. Arrow will fly past, but all they need is a torrent and Watson's damage output. They're going to be able to get boxy as well. It might be the territory because there does not seem like a way back in. This Meepo is far too ahead. Yeah, at least they have backdoor protection here, mid lane still uh, being a problem. They have traps here if they want to try and deal with the bottom lane creeps. But yeah, I mean, even if they do all that, it does feel like Entity is just way too far ahead. This was, as you said, I mean, where were they? I, I don't know, but they are here now, and they, it looks like they're going to the finals in a 2-0 against Liquid. Uh, even, even myself, that kind of trusted them to take the series, didn't think it was going to be a 2-0 in this fashion. Yeah, I think keyword, like you said, though, in this fashion, because it has looked dominant. Maybe one last fight for Liquid. Edging forward with the Doom from 33. And he's going to be able to get it on after the Mega Meepo, but now once again, how do you take a team fight after the Torrent Storm? Just gives him a ridiculous amount of AoE control, which makes it impossible for Liquid to have any hopes of turning around. And the Gs are going to be dropped, and congratulations to Entity. They will move forward. Damn, just incredible performance here from Entity.